Hey friends! Well, most of you may know that other than being the host of Read With Carolee, I too am an author. I wrote Everyone Just Like Me and Pretty Hair. Now, these books didn't just come out of thin hair. They came from ideas that I wrote down in my handy dandy notebook. And today's author, Audra Heard, tells us about a little girl who loves to scribble. And you never know, if you write down your scribbles, they might actually be developed into a story of your very own. So come on as we join Scribby in The Wonders of Scribby. And make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any author that's coming by every week. So, come on, let's go. Where do you go when you want to go higher? See places and things and it never expires. A book can take you anywhere. Turn the pages and you'll be there. Join us, you'll see. We're reading with Carrie Hi, friends. It's so wonderful to see you again for another episode of Read with Carolee, where we have authors from all over the world that come and join us to read their books to you. So today we have author Audra Heard, and she is reading The Wonders of Scribby. Welcome, Audra. Hello, hello. Hey, Carrie Lee. <laughs> I, I am so happy to have you here. And so I see we have a little friend with us. Yes, we do. We have Scribby. She has joined us today. Oh, hey, Scribby. Hey. <laughs> I'm so happy to see both of you. And where are you coming to us today from? I am coming out of Jacksonville, Florida, the Sunshine State. Oh, yes. Well, you know, we actually just had a snowstorm a week or two ago, but it's warming <laughs> up. So hopefully we'll be as warm as you soon. So I Not am quite as warm. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> we got a cold front. We're all, we're all going to get into spring and summer soon. So I yes. am excited. But I'm even more excited to get into the wonders of Scribby. So, Miss Audra, take it away. I am reading today the wonders of Scribby. Meet Alexandria, her friends call her Scribby. She is known as Scribby because she loves to scribble on everything she can find. She's a sweet chocolate little girl who loves to read, draw and write in her tiny journal. Although her scribbling didn't seem like much, she was proud to hang her drawings all over her room. Although Scribby spent a lot of time at home drawing and writing, she never seemed to fit in with the children at school. This left Scribby very sad and oftentimes alone. It seemed like her best friend was her writing pad and her dreams. Scribby loved dreaming about one day becoming a mighty superhero. She dreamt her superpower was x-ray vision so she could see for miles away. She would play dress up in her room and stand in front of her mirror dressed in her superhero cape. Scribby would take off her glasses and pretend she had x-ray vision. The next day at school, inside the lunchroom, Scribby noticed her classmate Cherry being picked on. Scribby was all too familiar with how this felt, so she went over and sat down at Cherry's table. 
Cherry and Scribby began having a conversation and they soon learned what they had in common. Scribby loved to read and so did Cherry. Cherry loved to write and so did Scribby. Although their writings appeared to be scribble, they both seemed to write in a language they both understood. It didn't take long before Cherry and Scribby became two peas in a pod. They began spending time together at school, especially in the library reading. Scribby and Cherry would sleep over at Scribby's house. They played in their superhero costumes and read books by flashlight inside Scribby's homemade tent. The girls loved pitching tents. It made them feel like they were outdoor camping. Scribby and Cherry became such best friends, they hated to leave one another. It was always Cherry and Scribby against the world. Although she was shy and withdrawn, Scribby was quite the overachiever. With all she achieved, surely Scribby would fit in with the crowd, or so she thought. Being at the top of the class pushed her further away from the popular kids. Scribby continued with her achievements and became the shining star of her class. She won the spelling bee, made straight A's on her report card, and became the school crossing guard. All of Scribby's accomplishments made her the teacher's favorite student. This made the kids in her class hate her more. When Alexandria was shining, there was always someone in the background who made her feel like a failure. Instead of being discouraged, Scribby didn't allow this to stop her. She continued shining and did not listen to the insults of her classmates. Despite what school was like, Alexandria's favorite place in the whole wide world was her bedroom. Here, she could become whatever she dreamt of. Her books, dreams, and writing pad were her piece. Scribby looked in the mirror and believed she would grow up and become a defender of all mankind. She was destined to save the world. That's amazing. Well, Scribby is quite the dreamer <laughs> and the writer. So, Scribby, we have a lot of common. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> yes, I'm like I have my glasses and I'm a writer as well. And I have been scribbling for as long as I know as well. <laughs> wow. So I, I am so glad, you know, to have you here as a writer in this book written by you, Miss Audra. <laughs> Yes, yes. Scribby's actually from my childhood because I actually used to put these drawings all over my room. <laughs> wow, okay. Wow. Yes, I've been scribbling a long time too. <laughs> yes, so I can see part of your inspiration to write The Wonders of Scribby. So can you tell us a little bit more about why you decided to write this book? Um, I actually decided to write this book because I just always wanted to get into the children's space. Um, I actually work with authors and I had published a couple authors who had done children's books. And I just kind of sat on the sidelines and was like, wow, I can't wait you know, to write a children's book. But uh -huh. I just was waiting for the inspiration. And so last year in July, I actually came up with Scribby because she's a form of a superhero I created. And the superhero is Scribbalina. And so one day I was just in my room, tidying up my room. And I was just like, Scribby. <laughs> she just came to me and I saw a vision of her. She had on the glasses. Her hair was, you know, plaited out. And I just immediately had her executed and wrote the story. And I wanted children to know that it was okay to shine, uh, regardless of being bullied, regardless yeah. of not being accepted. It's okay to keep shining and being who you are. So that was the inspiration for Scribby. 
Yes, and that is a great lesson for our friends to learn. You know, you don't have to be like everyone else. You can be, you know, the standout in in what you do, what you feel that you're comfortable in. Yes. And, you know, no matter what, no matter, you know, if somebody's in the background trying to make you feel like a failure, you are not a failure because you're actually doing something that you love. Yes. So that is a wonderful um, inspiration right there. Um, so can you tell us a little bit more about Scribblina? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to hear about Scribblina? <laughs> Scribblina is a superhero I created. She's kind of like my alter ego, so to speak. Okay. Um, but what she does is uh, I, I came across a lot of writers who were in a lot of pain. They mm. wanted to write their book, but they were having uh, writer's block because of pain. And so in my mind, I was like, these people need to be rescued from this pain yep. that they are wow. experiencing. And so I developed Scribblina. And so her whole job is to rescue people who are in pain so that they are free to write their books. And so her inspiration is scribbling as well. And so that's how I came up with her. Um, I actually developed a whole campaign around Scribblina as well. Um, wow. But, you know, people have been grateful, you know, because this is a lot of pain associated with telling your story. And yes. so Scribblina has been helping people to get beyond that pain. Yes, that that is amazing. And th that too is another way for children to be able to write about what they're experiencing and become superheroes in their yes. own story. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. So, um, you know, with the writers that you have, um, worked with and with the books that you've seen in the past, you know, were there any books that inspired you when you were growing up? Absolutely. I was actually uh, taking a trip down memory lane with Dr. Seuss. Okay. <laughs> so I was looking at the cat in the hat, the Grinch that stole Christmas, <laughs> green eggs and ham I am, Sam I am. Yes. <laughs> so Dr. Seuss books were a huge part of my childhood and a huge part of me growing up as well. So Dr. Seuss all day. <laughs> yes, yes. And um, that has been, you know, such an inspiration for many authors today. And um, I hope that, you know, many children will get the inspiration from Scribby and be able to write out their stories, you know, mm -hmm. however painful it might be, or, you know, whatever they may want to write about to really get that inspiration. So are there any, um, any more books that are in store with the wonders of Scribby? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And so Scribby's uh, real name is Alexandria. Yes. Um, I actually named her after my sister. That's my sister's main middle name. Uh -huh. And so it's the Alexandria the Great series. And the okay. next book coming in the series is where Scribby will learn how to swim. And Ooh. in that book, she'll rescue someone else. So her whole goal is in every book, she'll rescue someone from something different. And so okay. in that particular book, uh, she's going to go on a cruise. And when she come, goes on the cruise, she saves a little boy who's drowning because she learned how to swim. So she saves someone who's drowning. Yes. And so that's the next book in the series coming soon. Scribby at sea. Well, Scribby, oh my gosh, you <laughs> get around and you're just rescuing everyone. Yes. So I, I am so glad that you brought your superhero talents here as well, Scribby. Yes. She's going to talk one day. One day she's yes. going to talk. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I, I, I see it. And I am just so glad that, you know, we have the wonders of Scribby and as you said, the Alexandria, the great series. And thank you so much for being a part of our show today, Miss Audra. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you. Yes. And friends, so we've come to the end of another Read with Carolee, but I hope that you will get excited like Scribby and scribble down and write, write out your story so that you never know, one day your story might be published as well. Yes. 
So thank you again for joining us. And remember to always grab a book and read. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another amazing episode of the Read with Carolee show. We have amazing authors coming by every week. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. You don't want to miss a thing.